Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada at 7770 Dean Martin Drive. You clicked on the 2017 Lamborghini Huracan. That's not a wrap. That is really as beautiful as it is. Sparkles in the paint, it's unbelievable. Just over 35,000 original miles, full service records. So we're in good shape, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, my name's Scott. Welcome to Celebrity Cars. I'm your living, breathing condition report. Just in case you don't wanna get on a plane or a train or in a car, you don't wanna travel and you're just looking for a new toy to arrive at your front door. Uh, maybe you'd want to be here to go over its condition. How many chips and scratches does it have? Are the wheels curbed? All those things. Well, that's why I'm here. That's what I'm going to go over with you. So we do pretty extensive coverage of our vehicles, all of them. So if you're interested in any other cars here, go to celebritycars.com. You can find out all of our videos are put together the same way in high definition so you can see all the conditions of these vehicles. So <clears throat> let's just get started. 35,000 original miles, just over. Uh, full service and uh, it's a 2017 and it looks absolutely wonderful. Is it perfect? No. And that's what we're going to go over. Let's just start in the very front of the car. Now look, you're, you're looking into the camera lens. You're seeing what I'm seeing. I'm here to pick out stuff that you can't see on the camera. And one of the couple of the things is that there's an itty bitty small mark right here. Let's see if this car has a clear bra on it. I do not feel a clear bra on the front of this car, just so you know. Okay, so we have a small mark here, a small mark here, one here, and uh, a little small mark. Oh, nope. Just some dirt, just some dirt. A real small mark here, one here, and a couple down here. Looks like somebody might have used some really easy, some really nice uh, touch-up paint, um, which they did very professionally and very well. So you can barely see any of these uh, small chips that were put on the front of this car via its normal 35,000 mile life. <clears throat> Down here, this black on the lower val valence just has some minor wear of just normal cruising, but there's no big chunks taken out of it. I don't feel any great big gashes down here, although it's not perfectly smooth. Uh, I don't feel any great big gashes down here underneath. And let's check this side. I feel a minor abrasion right here, but you can't see it from where we're standing. There's a little bit of crud there. Probably need a fancy detailer to get that off. And over here on this side, I feel some small light abrasions underneath on this side as well. But you cannot see any of them, even though my head is all the way down here. I see another small chip right here, professionally um, uh, chip repaired. It looks really good, it's a nice match. Now look, if you could see, my face is a whopping 12 inches away from the front of this car. Your friends, nobody else is gonna do this. They're standing up above, they're not gonna barely see half of these marks that I'm pointing out to you now, just so you know. The headlights are in good shape, got a little bit of wear from driving, both of them, exact same condition. And like I said, this the front bonnet, the front nose, it's all this one color, it's beautiful. Just some minor stuff, folks, just, just minor. Let's go down the uh, passenger side. And you can see all of this looks terrific. I do see a minor uh, mark. We'll call it a mark, not a scratch, just a mark here. A detailer will probably be able to get that out. Your front passenger side wheel and tire looks beautiful, except for when you get to this location here where you can see that uh, unfortunately had some curb rash and it was slightly repaired. But um, again, these are the things that we hope you appreciate when you're looking for a new car. Uh, these things you wouldn't normally see in a normal video, probably not even in photographs. So just some, uh, you barely notice it at all. It's a half decent job. Okay, let's work our way down the passenger side of the car. I see no scratches from any garage doors or parking garages down here. I do see a light white mark down here it seems that the paint has uh, left the building right here in this spot. So there's some white underneath there. Um, I don't know, it might've been something white that it, the car ran up above or uh, 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 up against. 
but um, this is barely detectable down here. I didn't even see that until now. S uh, some super small road rash down here is very minor. All along here looks terrific. All along here looks real great as well. This is where a lot of road rash would wind up being. And this is really, really all in nice shape. All of this is beautiful, super sparkle paint. Your door handle looks great. This upper sill looks good. I see a couple minor marks. They're just from normal road wear. Um, they can totally be corrected by a professional detailer. There's a couple water marks here that should go away. Um, but working our way down, let's just stick with the side of the car for now. And all of this really looks great. Let me see if, by looking back, if I see any dings. I don't see any dings in any of these panels. They all look terrific. This beautiful side of the car. Let's check out the rear passenger side wheel and tire. I also see a repair job here. Other than that, the rest of the wheel is beautiful. Much better repair up here than on the front. Uh, the barrels need to be shined up just a little bit more of the wheels, but I can see that they're nice and shiny underneath. Let's take a look, good look at the rear end of the car here. Seems to be a small mark there. Don't know how that happened, but it's super small, but your detailer can get it out. Uh, this back plastic here needs a good detail, needs some uh, back to black stuff going on in there in this section, but it's all one piece, none of it's broken. Your rear tail light, rear tail light over here on the passenger side looks great. Down here, this lower plastic, all these parts down here, uh, carbon fiber, uh, special moldings, if you will. Um, all of this looks terrific back here. This black is in super shape. I don't see any damage from backing into anything back here. The small diffuser back here uh, doesn't look like it's gone up against the wall or a curb or been backed into anything. The backup cameras here is in good shape. And the paint back here is fabulous. Lamborghini album's good. All this looks terrific. The exhaust tips look terrific. Just a couple little watermarks here and there, but other than that, it's really, really in nice shape. That's just some dirt, came right off of my finger. Gonna find these from time to time. And here's your driver's side rear tail light, all in good shape. Just a couple little watermarks that I should have gotten out of there. All right, let's work our way up the uh, driver's side, if we can. And all of this looks terrific. I see nothing but super beautiful paint. It's really sharp. Let's get a good look at the wheel now. Got a small chip of some paint here. A Sharpie would fix that up. Nah, I didn't say that. Uh, but a uh, small mark there. Uh, other than that, the rest of the wheel looks really good. Again, the barrels need to be clean in there, but these, uh, these are all real nice. They'll shine up real nice. Can barely notice some of these marks on the wheels for sure. Okay, over here, working our way, continue our way up. I got a couple more bugs here that I'm making sure aren't scratches, and uh, we continue to not see any scratches. This looks terrific all the way down the side of the car. Run my hand down here, nobody's jumped over any curbs. In great shape, this all looks fabulous, folks. I don't see any touch up paint. I don't see any, uh, I see uh, maybe a couple uh, marks in the clear coat here, obviously from getting in and out of the car, not a big deal. Your detailer would shine that up real good. I haven't seen anything that doesn't require, like you know, that, that needs a, a, a attention. Um, this is just a, a beautiful car. It's a, and really, oh, front driver's side, wheel and tire. I don't want to forget about that one. Seems like this wheel has gotten unscathed. Um, maybe some really light marks, but, uh, but this is the best, uh, best wheel out of the bunch for sure. And uh, here's your front nose cone, all this paint, your, your reflector, your side reflector, your turn signal, all of this looks just awesome. And I barely see any road wear over here on this side at all. Okay, get a good look at the windshield. No cracks, no big chunks taken out of it, just normal road wear, 35,000 original miles. Got a little bit of dust, welcome to Las Vegas. Um, but uh, this is a beautiful windshield for a 35 mile, 35,000 original mile Lamborghini. 
great shape. Passenger window looks good. The window tint looks terrific. Uh, we really haven't gone over this top part of the car. Again, we've had dust floating around all day long. You look at the top surface and I can't even see a mark currently. This black fascia back here, this stuff back here normally fades first and it's brilliantly black still. So are these two sections back here. Maybe a couple of super minor, minor marks in the black, but I'm pretty sure a good shiner up will make them all go away. I see nothing but beautiful sparkles in green paint. There you go. I've worked my way all the way around the car. I've dissected just about every paint surface. So hopefully I've done my job there. The convertible top looks terrific. A couple really uh, minor normal wear stains that uh, you could barely see and you'll be spending most of your time with the top down on this fine automobile. I'm gonna open up the passenger side door so you can start to look inside and I'm gonna climb over in the driver's seat, start it and get the top down. Okay. Purrs like a kitten, folks. Okay, back to the condition of this Lambo. Well, get a good look at the passenger seat. I'm not really sure because of my eyes what color the piping is. I can't tell if that's an off green or white. I think it's a little bit of an off green to match the exterior of the car. It's pretty cool. Uh, the center console looks fabulous. All the buttons are here. They're all very clearly marked. Um, there may be a slight abrasion or two in this black, but once again, Celebrity Cars bought these very fancy uh, lights in our showroom here, and they are magnifying glasses, so you see everything. So very nice and shiny. Some light scratches just from your hand being here and do oh, sorry about the dirty hands. Uh, your hand being here and doing your normal daily operations while you're driving this around. Uh, the dashboard is in terrific shape. This sill is in terrific shape all across here. Um, <clears throat> this, position, this piece right here, um, this is made of like a, a, a soft leather getting in and out of the car. So there are minor abrasions on both sides of feet getting in and out of the car, especially over here on the driver's side, which you'll see in just a moment. But other than that, the entire uh, console is terrific. If you could come on over here to this side of the car, we'll take a look at the dashboard and the steering wheel. And <clears throat> if we could focus on this area here, um, this is the uh, rubber portion that got kind of sort of marked up getting in and out of the car. Again, this is a, a leather surface, a leather surface, and uh, they just have some mild abrasions getting in and out of the car, except for a little notch taken out right there. This is just marked. It is not uh, scratched or uh, <clears throat> or ripped is the word I'm looking for. And nothing's ripped along here, so it's all fine. I've got uh, trunk release down here and, uh, and hood release, and I have all these special buttons here. My steering wheel is set up with just about every option you could think of. It's very, very cool. And I'll start it up one more time so you can see the dash since the camera's right there. It's 35,300 change miles. Very cool car. Okay, so I guess the only thing, oh, we, we have to, oh, that's what we have to do. We have to do the engine compartment in the trunk. I'm gonna use these buttons down here to get this open. Sounds like the front's first. This is where you're gonna put your groceries and your baseball glove and your baseball. Nice and clean in there, folks. Nice and shiny up underneath. 
barely ever looks used. So that's all in good shape. Now, let's see the engine compartment. Okay, we finally got the, uh, the rear bonnet open so you can get a partial look at this Lamborghini's power plant. Not a whole lot to see, unfortunately, but there you go. Okay, rear bonnet's down. We've seen inside the engine compartment, the front bonnet, the interior. Let's get a good look at these black pieces uh, that uh, house your convertible top and just minimal wear. They're overall in pretty good shape. We talked about how shiny and black this still was back here, and uh, it looks pretty darn good underneath as well. I think they need to be waxed a little bit to do some extra shine, but uh, other than that, this is the way you'd normally be cruising this one down the road, top down. Okay, let's go for a quick ride, what do you say? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're inside the Lamborghini Huracan, bright green, super sparkly paint, excellent condition, inside and out, just minimal, normal, 35,000 mile road wear. Nothing special to pick out, Video pretty good in detail. I got my foot on the brake pedal right now. We are in drive. I'm all ready to go. I'll put it back in neutral, why not? There's neutral. I'm in neutral, I'll set the park brake. So we don't roll anywhere. I'm gonna take the park brake off, take my foot off the brake, we're in neutral. I'm gonna start to roll backwards. No, I don't, I've got it in park. All right, anyway. I'm in park, let's engage automatic first gear. Foot's on the gas pedal, nobody's around, here we go. Now I do have the top down, so you'll hear a little extra wind because it is windy today. I don't have my seatbelt on. But we're just purring right along right now at about 25 miles an hour. Both hands on the wheel. Let's get it up to about 30. 35, I hit the brakes real good. Three, two, one. Now, I, I didn't completely slam on the brakes. We hurt ourselves. Brakes work great. <clears throat> no pull to the left or right. We're in good shape. Back on the gas, off we go. It's a very quiet engine until you get on it. So cruising with the top down here, you barely hear anything at all. <clears throat> very windy day, very comfortable in here. I'm not getting blown all over creation. Gonna leave the uh, transmission in automatic. When you get this home in your driveway, you can play with the paddles. All right, here we go. Doesn't get nicer or smoother. Right hand turn. Well, you'll certainly catch everyone's eye driving down the road like I just did. And my foot's back on the brake. And like I said, you can't get a whole lot smoother than that. My battery level's perfect. My temperature gauge is perfect. Oil pressure gauge is perfect. Plenty of gas, ready for you to call us up and you to have it delivered to your front door. 35,336, 66 original miles. We've got all the paperwork and we've got all of its service records and we'd be happy to share all that information with you. Celebritycars.com or call us 702-818-1031. Thanks very much.